And if Marianne so much talked, so much as talked of this, don't Why you dare you threaten that sweet angel. Threaten. Don't you <laughs> <Yeah>. dare. <laughs> wow. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 I will dun, leave this playthrough. Dun, 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 I will. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> right now, use the steps uh, out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Pixels. Coco and Kimi are here with Lay Filet from Cacophony of Games and Buttons, and we are continuing the letter. We have a journal update. Let's check that out. All right. Uh, the, which one's... There we go. Take it, buttons. So we've hit the problem where my quality is not allowing me to see what that font is. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now I don't get to see it at all. Okay. <laughs> Here we, which for, okay, here we go. During the open house, Hannah pressured the estate agent to sell her the mansion. The Wrights also met their interior designer. But displeased with her husband's flirtatious attitude, a disagreement brewed during the ride home. Inevitably, they ended up sleeping in different bedrooms that night. Oh, what a shame. Sleeping in different bedrooms every night, fuck that guy. <laughs> for real, though? For real. But, like, not actually fuck him. Yeah, for real. Maybe with, like, a rusty screwdriver or something. Mm, <laughs> Could be. <laughs> to his eyeballs, maybe? <laughs> wow, this is getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a horror game, so... True! <laughs> True. The days past had gone by in a blur. We hadn't talked much, Luke and I, out of necessity. Or outside of necessity. In fact, we have hardly talked beyond the topic of acquisitions of properties. Properties being the mansion, of course. Everything has been so busy that I haven't talked to anyone outside of business, and it is just so stressing. So, one can understand my need for a good chat, preferably over a good meal. This is gonna be Marianne. Our time to woo Marianne. Please, dear God, let it be. <laughs> There are times when any decent, emotionally healthy, and socially capable person need a good friend. Mm -hmm. One who will talk to them without the conversation degrading or turning into an argument. <laughs> Guys, you called it. <laughs> yes. Nice. Good. Good, or, good. barring a nearby friend, I have an interior designer under a confidential confidentiality agreement to listen to me. Do you know how much I'm praying that this turns into John Tucker must die? What? There's a movie called John Tucker Must Die where John Tucker's like the the, the player. Playboy. Yeah, playboy at the high school. So all of the women that he's like basically banged and quit gang up to absolutely ruin his life. It's an amazing movie. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Mm. I do not like chick flicks, like, at all. I fucking loved that movie. It reminds me of uh, First Wives Club, which has always been a favorite chick flick of mine. Specifically because it's not, like, you know, romance and shit. It's literally a bunch of women who were divorced from their husbands, all of which were complete Because they were starter assholes. wives? Mm-hmm. And Isn't like, that also a TV series now? I'd be surprised if it was. Maybe you're thinking Desperate Housewives. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking that. I, I'm definitely... Oh, no, I'm thinking The Starter Wife. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Uh, um, yeah, I really... I just want them to gang up and fuck over Luke. Seriously. Please. Fuck over Luke. Fuck each other. Please. Go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 
The place is bustling with movers, carrying furnishings here and there, along with several trunks of personal belongings taken from our penthouse. Wow, that was a fast move, you guys. <laughs> Maybe check if it's actually haunted or not. Maybe? No? We, no? no. Okay. We wouldn't have a story. Shush. <laughs> I can hear Luke barking at them in the other room, making sure nothing is handled carelessly or gets stolen. Oh my god, I'd kill him. Like, I hate people, like, mm. The truest sign of telling how somebody is as a person is seeing how they interact with people who are lower in station than them. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that line speaks volumes. Yep. Like, people who treat, like, food servers like shit, I immediately assume are shit people. Mm -hmm. Same. It is hard to tune him out. The walls did not do a good job of muffling him at all. That's gonna come back to haunt us, no pun intended. Yeah. But then again, it is Luke. I would still hear him ranting even if we were on the opposite sides of the mansion, and I'm wearing earplugs. I'd really like to thank you for inviting me to breakfast, Mrs. Wright. Yeah. But I already ate, so I should really go back to work. Nonsense! You arrived so early, you must not have gotten a proper meal. Our butler has made a surprisingly lovely bubble and squeak. Sit, sit! I'd situate us in the dining hall, but it is a mess right now. What the actual hell is a bubble and squeak? Oh boy, time for buttons to learn about English cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> I've English seen pictures and it does not look appetizing. English I'm not cuisine even... to me is the blandest shit. <laughs> you even more angry British people. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like maybe some seasoned steak, some potatoes of some variety, and like if you're lucky, a vegetable, but normally beans. <laughs> the man in question of you is ready with a tray as he starts to set the table for us. We sit in silence as we are each served a plate. Bubble and squeak topped by a nicely topped by a nicely poached egg with cherry tomatoes and other garnishes adorning the edges of the plate. That looks nothing yeah, like the bubble and squeak that exactly. I saw on Google Images. I was just like, no, that's, exactly. I've never seen any bubble and squeak that looks good, that good. Also, they forgot to mention the lardons that they threw on top. Can we? No, those are bits of bacon. Um, can we talk about bits how of good bacon the food or looks in this game? <laughs> Buttons. The, fu the, the food in this game looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it looks amazing. But also, I would like to point out that Lardons is bits of bacon. Thick cut Listen, bacon, specifically. I'm an American. <laughs> Everything is bacon. So am I. <laughs> Listen, so am I. I've just been to some fancier restaurants because American. of my fucking job. <laughs> Dude, I am so American. My family has reunions at a gun range. Like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck, button? This is- this is- You are the my problem! Family. They're all insane. Like, <laughs> they're all insane. Every single one of them. Absolutely what? batshit. Americans. Am I right, Coco? Uh -huh. <laughs> At yep. least it's stations shooting, I guess. A cup and saucer and a teapot with some Earl Grey is placed down for Marianne and I. And I asked for an orange Julius. I love that she just ignored that statement. <laughs> also, I just need to mention that. That look super tiny. What's an orange Julius? Yeah, I'm just like alcohol. What? Okay, we, so we, we've been we've been talking a lot of we've like got ten minutes of of talking random stuff in three. Sorry. <laughs> Let's yes. yeah try and get a little more gameplay done. Yeah, bench that. <laughs> Well, it's certainly a fun challenge, incorporating the designs of a Jacobean manor and the functionality of a modern household. 
I have ideas I would like to suggest, by the way, about what to use the second bedroom for. For us. I have been informed <laughs> that God Dog <laughs> kid friendly room might be in order. You read my mind. I was actually going to bring that oh. up. She has family. Oh, oh no. It just be so lovely, oh, Marianne. That way, Kylie can bring her friends over as well. And a good friend of mine, Rochelle, is expecting a baby. So, why don't we think about... Rochelle is... Too? She's the, the wife officer's of wife? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I can just imagine little ones running around. Filling this place with the pitta-patta of their feet. We'd have to make sure they don't trip and fall on the stairs, though. Oh, she's so happy. We won't have to finish everything up until after the party. But we'll have it ready by then, so that all we need to do is to move in the furnishings. Yes, that's plenty fine. It's not like we're in a hurry to have it. And we wouldn't want the workers to disturb the guests or the other way around, do we? Just make sure it's presentable. You know, in case a guest snoops about. Oh my god, she's so cute. Jeez. As for the kitchen you wanted, I've already negotiated for the high-end stoves and the hot and cold drawers, so on and so forth. Please date Marianne. Please date Marianne. I've got a friend who is able to <laughs> customize them so that they'll look like the counters we'll be replacing and fit the rest of the interior. They'll be bringing them in today. I kind of really like the fact that... Is he done yelling? Okay. I really like the fact that they made Hannah a really strong woman that's also family oriented and didn't do the whole if you're a strong woman you can't like family. Yeah. I really mm -hmm. like that too. <laughs> Much appreciated. Excellent. But no, really, how have you liked it so far? Oh, it has been wonderful, believe me. Everything is going smoothly, <laughs> Sue. It has been a long time since I've worked on something in this grand a scale. Nowadays, everyone is about condos and flats, living in the city where every room is an identical box. Believe me, this is very refreshing. We lived in a condo before this, Marianne. <laughs> Rip. Uh, I didn't wow. the insult. I... It's fine, sweetie. Look at you, ah, yes. all frazzled. <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. Kisu. <laughs> Luke wanted that house when we got married. I can thank him for purchasing this place as well. <laughs> she looks confused. Of course, she has every right to be. She, no doubt, overheard me push that estate agent into the sale, making quite the aggressive offer. She saw me sign the papers for the mansion as well. Oh, it's just in her name? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I just had to scoff. Don't be fooled. I'm just the treasury. I wouldn't be able to make a purchase this great mm. seal of approval. Blech. Mm. I see. That's it. That's all you have to say. Hmm. Yes. It wouldn't be appropriate to comment further. Oh, please, do it's comment away. Please do. <laughs> unprofessional. Be unprofessional, please. I can't help but let out a deep sigh as I stick a fork into the dish. What did that plate ever do to you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want professional. I want someone who will either agree with me, even if it's just for the sake of agreeing, or someone who will try and talk some sense into me. Yeah. Yeah. Neutral responses are so boring. There's no discourse in the middle ground. The food is good. This explains everything. Of course it is. 
Our kitchen staff only uses the freshest hand-picked ingredients. Only the best for the rights. Mr. Wright is not joining us? No. He is far too busy bossing people around. Do you notice? He even refused to join me for breakfast earlier. Hence, this. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that he, she referred to him as Mr. Wright and not as Luke, 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 or Hannah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trouble in paradise. Paradise. <laughs> mm. I like haunted houses. I really don't know what response <laughs> to get back to get from me. There is a clat. There is the clatter of silverware <laughs> as I slam my hands on the table. Oh, calm down, babe. It is frustrating. Calm down, sweet baby. I am frustrated. At Luke, mostly. Pretty deserved. But Marianne's neutral, professional answers are certainly irksome as well. You're a human with feelings and opinions, aren't you? Don't give me this bollocks about being professional when we're having a nice, friendly chat over a nice and friendly breakfast. I can uh. only talk about interior designs for so long, and I detest one-sided conversations, Marianne. But I really don't know what to say, Mrs. Wright. We were talking of no topic in particular, and... Luke. We were talking about Luke. Huh. About him not eating breakfast with you? <laughs> About him treating me as if I were some treasury! I didn't oh. realize that I shouted that out loud until it is too late. There's a stunned silence that's settled before I slump back into my seat. Oh, baby! Hiding my face behind my hands, I can feel my shoulders shake. No! Breathe, I told myself. Calm down. But it is just so hard. Honestly, sometimes I feel like he doesn't love me anymore. Oh, have I been so blind? Did he ever love me at all? Was our marriage all for the sake of saving his company and his wealth? Because... Because? Did I say that out loud? Again? <laughs> no, this is bad. Unacceptable. It has been ruined before, the real reason for our engagement. But if anyone were to know of this... Marriages of necessity to carry on political and financial power used to be a common thing. But the Evans Wright Union is the perfect happily ever after was supposed to be. It is true that we first met each other in order to discuss dealings and to make the then failing right enterprise a subsidiary for Evans Incorporated. But I do remember being in love with him and there were times when he said he loved me back. Oh, you got played, baby. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm not sure of what the truth is now. Either way, I do not want the right name or the Evans name dragged through the mud because of a slip-up. And if Marianne so much talked, so much as talked of this... Don't you dare you threaten that sweet angel. Threaten. Don't you <laughs> <Yeah>. dare. <laughs> wow. Dun-dun-dun-dun. I will leave this playthrough. I will. 
<laughs> Why now? You have to step out. I'm sure we're all agreed. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Marianne is a good sort, isn't she? I told you to hide. That's clueless. Yep. Yeah! Me! <laughs> Maybe, you know, just in case she was turned on by being threatened. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know. <laughs> so far, she has been reasonable and accommodating, even towards Luke's ridiculous requests. Patient and professional, did it only extend to business? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Yes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> or would she be able to understand that things like this are not as simple, not as clean as they are painted to be? Certainly I can talk to her. Ask for her hand in marriage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It would also go against my principles. I love her so much. <laughs> this is no one else's business but your own, and it should be kept between the two of you. And whoever you wish to seek counsel from. What a great person. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Please, Marianne. You have to understand. These sort of affairs. If anyone were to know this, they could just twist it and we'll be ruined. All I ask for is your silence on the matter. If I am to be frank, Mrs. Wright, this isn't you for me. Oh. You aren't the first, and you certainly won't be the last to have complicated dealings. Unless what you're doing is illegal, I turn a blind eye. Yes. Can I trust Ow. her? Of course. And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Four Pixels. My name is Konitsu, and I am here with Root Letter. Um, this is a visual novel. It has nothing to do with um, the letter that uh, Kime and Coco are playing. So. Try not to go into this with, like, expectations for, like, scary, spoopy stuff. Because, like, there's, like, not much of it. Um, so yeah, this is a visual novel that I played on my PlayStation Vita. And I've- I got pretty far into it. Um, I only- well, not really. Um, I only played, like, five hours? Maybe at most six hours, but most of it was just me flopping around, not knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because um, in this game, um, like I said, it's, it has nothing, it's not, it's an investigative mystery, but it really relies on you paying attention to what the characters say and like all those important details, because otherwise it doesn't really help you much. When you talk to people. Oh, I can change my name. I forgot that. I went with Masumi because um, in Japanese it means truth. And that's what the game is all about. It's about finding the truth. Yeah. fiction. <laughs> I'm in my room, sorting through things. I was getting ready to move to my new job after quitting a job at a design firm I'd had for 11 years. My place was having some renovations done, so I came back to clean up a bit. I should put this stuff away. Putting things away. 